The personal representative's notice to the front of the court. Hi, I'm Darren Fiddling of the Probate Pro, and I'm going to cover a particular form that's required of personal representatives when they're appointed on behalf of a deceased probate estate. This is a SCAO form, State Court Administrative Office Form, PC618, as referenced in the yellow arrow that I've put on this particular slide. This form is completed at the onset of the appointment, so when the letters of authority are issued. There's a particular statute that corresponds to all the SCAO forms. Here I've highlighted MCL 700.3705 and specifically subsection 6. This particular statute incorporates lots of the different noticing requirements that the personal representative must do on behalf of the interested parties or in this particular case the friend of the court. In this particular case the personal representative must provide notice to the friend of the court within the time frame of 14 days to notify them of the commencement of that deceased estate. Let's walk our way through this particular form. The top part identifies the name of the estate. That, of course, is the person that died. The area that we're highlighting here gives some additional identifying features, including the last four digits of that person's social security number, as well as the date of birth. Now, why does the friend of the court want to know that somebody has died? Well, if an estate is open and there is an arrearage, which means that the person that died owed money to the friend of the court, well, in this case, the friend of the court would provide notice. Now, the odd thing here is that the person may, or the estate may get opened in one county, and the person has a friend of the court arrearage in another county, or maybe even in another state. Well, under the rules, it, it specifically provides that you have to give notice to the friend of the court for the county in which the estate is being administered. So, for example, if it's being administered in Wayne County, but the arrearage is in Oakland County, it's not the personal representative's responsibility to then notify the other county. The same holds true for the heirs and devisees of the estate. If those people owe money to the friend of the court, the requirement is only that notice is provided in the county in which the probate estate is being administered. So it's a weird quirk, and I'm not really clear if the friend of the friends of the court in the various counties throughout the state are sharing the information, but there's no requirement to give notice beyond the county upon which the estate has been commenced. And as you can see, it identifies the county in this particular segment, as well as the court file number. Now, as we move further down this form, uh, section three provides that you have to give notice to the friend of the court of any of the heirs, that means without a will, the interested, the heirs under intestacy law, or devisees, that being those identified in the will. And I said or, it's and or. You have to give notice of any of those parties. And the statute specifically said says that you're not required, the personal representative is not required to notify the friend of the court of a devise, of a devise to a trustee of an existing trust or a trustee under a will. So there's some specific requirements that are set forth here. And the idea is to notify the friend of the court that the person who is subject to the estate, the decedent, as well as the heirs and devisees, to notify the friend of the court because the friend of the court may actually have a lien as to uh, any of the assets that those people are going to receive and could attach those assets potentially to satisfy an ongoing obligation for child support. So really public policy is providing an avenue for people under a friend of the court order to automatically try to attach to those heirs and devisees of an estate as well as the person that died. In addition, there is a provision of the statute that says that the personal representative that complies with the order with good faith is done so and uh, is absolved of any liability if they make a mistake, if there's uh, a mistake by the front of the court or an error or omission, as long as it's made in good faith compliance, there is no liability. So for example, if they fail, but it doesn't say that if you fail to provide the notice that somehow you're absolved because it is a requirement under the statute. 
The lower section of this particular court form identifies the personal representative as well as any attorney that's representing the estate or the personal representative. And then the bottom section is really critical that you fill out the certificate of mailing to show that you fulfilled your responsibility under the statute. Because when you go to close the probate estate, these notices, this notice, as well as the other noticing requirements, you have to show proof that you did this, that you complied with your responsibilities as the personal representative. At the Probate Pro, we're passionate about probate related issues. If you have questions about this particular requirement, the personal representative notice to the front of the court, or any probate related issue, visit us at theprobatepro.com or call us at 833 Probate.